look, I don't think anybody in the fan base wants to see you fail. I think why there's such an attachment to Mac Jones is because of the the unemotional disassociation that Tom Brady had when he left. And the taste that was bitter in so many people's mouths. Other people's like, well, good. It was always Belichick anyway. It's good to hear all that stuff die down and even Belichick and Tom Brady saying nice things about each other. That's called absence makes the heart grow fonder. Familiarity breeds contempt. When you've been around someone for 20 years, you know, I just hate the way they breathe. If they just stop breathing, I, I, it could be that way. But Tom's not coming back. And I'd always said that Cam Newton was just going to be a bridge to something better. And so I understand that you would want Mac to work out because if it doesn't work out, then yeah, maybe the fans would feel a bit broken. Hey, going back to Mac though, real quick, do you think the bye week is going to help his confidence? Like kind of like reset his mind or do you we think like he needs we, to keep going on the field? We won't know until it's over, right? Like you don't know how Mac Jones will respond to the bye week until the bye week is over. You just don't know. And for that, I'm not going to say that he's going to perform poorly. I wouldn't want that for him. But at the same time, when you're seeing that, you know, you're you're worse at home than you are on the road and the next game is at home. And so might there there might be some anticipation of kind of like, hey, you had two weeks. It's like it's like when kids go on um Patriots Day break, right? They might have an assignment right before they go on the break. And then they don't do the assignment at all and they come back to school. You're like, you had a whole week to do the assignment and you come in and you look unprepared. That would be the worst thing. 